What's up guys, it's your boy Pete and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. If that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back and enjoy the video. Alright guys, as you probably can tell by the thumbnail, we are doing finally my houseplant tour. Um, last time I did one of these has been... I haven't been on here that long. A year ago, um, I've been on YouTube I think a year now. So a year ago... Um, I wouldn't say it wasn't much, but it was a lot. I don't know if I had a two-parter or not, but it was a lot. And a lot of those plants are still alive, and they're way bigger than what they were, unless I ended up um, doing some propagation and um, trading and things of that such. But everything else um, has, still, has still been growing, still alive, as you can see. Um, also, the sun is out, so I don't know how this brightness is going to work. Even if I did turn like one of my lights around or something of such, you just can't out um, beat the sun when it comes to light. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, we're fighting with the light here. Oh, and it's in my baby eyes, so I need to either move something and close the. There he is. It did the beauty, buddy. But um, so the sun to get out his eyes. I might put my jacket right here to help him out. This is like. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to fix this so my baby is not... There we go. He's not deadly <laughs> in the sun and dogs just weird. I know it's probably not hurting. I don't know. All right, let's get to the tour, guys. All right? All right, guys. This is what you see when you come in. Hey, Cashy. Hey, my booty. You sit down. All right. Um, this is what you see when you um, walk in here. I'm definitely going to have to close this door. As you can see, the light is like horrid, especially like when I open it up, then yeah. So this is what you see again when you come in here. Um, I'm just loving this here space. I'm trying to slow my panning down for you guys. Uh, we're definitely going to go through everything anyway, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come in here and close this door up and I could turn the fan on, but I'm not. Um, that's a lot better. See, um, I could turn the fan on, but I am not going to. Um, I'm definitely going to turn this here humidifier off because, yeah, um, it's definitely going to get a lot hotter in here. And I think the last thing I think I told you guys the last thing they have to do um, in here is wire management. It's just Okay, let's just be honest. I'm lazy. And that takes a lot of work, all right? A lot of work and effort. Not really, but yeah, I'm just lazy. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is like, guys, this is my peaceful zone. This is my, look at my queen. She is gorge. But anyway, oh man, she's thick. We'll get to that. And there's, a, yeah, we'll get to it. Um, But yeah, I love this here place, you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start... <laughs> By unplugging this humidifier um i love running this humidifier you guys i usually have um like a cinnamon is that it yeah a cinnamon oil that i put in here that helps with um different bugs don't like cinnamon and stuff but um i have to go get some more but this is what i use in the top of it it smells good in here um vanilla caramel it smells freaking wonderful this here humidifier is a regular vix humidifier that i do use um, if I'm not mistaken, it holds like a gallon or so, um, runs about 12 hours, then cuts off automatically on its own. Um, but yeah, I just stick the oil in here, and of course, this is a warm humidifier. It doesn't shoot out cool mist. It literally sh um, <laughs> shoots out um, hot moisture. You know what a, a big thingy is. You know what a humidifier does, so yeah. Once the oil warms up, then it just smells good. I wish you guys can, like, smell the screen. Eventually, I have something like that in the future where you can smell the stuff that comes through the TV, which is going to be horrible because it's going to make you want it, especially if it's food. Anyway, um, this here is my um, dual flame heater. This is what I use. Oh, God, the dog is barking, guys. This is what I use for... Um, oh, she's barking at. When it's... Sorry about the barking, you guys. Just... Yeah. 
okay this is what I use when um, it is cold out here as you can see she she has been through the ringer um, it's definitely when I say it definitely warms up in here it warms like literally everything in here I have it unplugged right now um, but that is the little wood that burns the lights come on you see little flames and stuff and blase blase but um yeah she does good and on top of her we have my philodendron brazil now a lot of you guys um definitely see me when i got this and repotted her and she is freaking amazing and has been growing ever since now definitely this is the leaf that i was saying that is like gorgeous this is like one pretty leaf it's like a peachy color but anyway um she's just been growing and growing I've been wrapping her around this little DIY trellis that I made. Um, nothing spectacular, but eventually that'll be covered up. Um, that is like some pretty foliage. But she's definitely been shooting out growth, you guys. I've been keeping an eye on her. She's doing a lot better now. When we first started, she was pushing out leaves like this. And I'm pretty sure that was just because of um, not having the right amount of light. But she's increased size at least a little bit more. That's a pretty leaf as well. Um, and again, just growing new growth everywhere. This is like one full pot. And if you guys know me, I always kill a Brazil, but I'm thinking it was probably because it was an immature. Well, how would you say that? Okay, it was a baby plant, immature plant, all the ones that I did have. Um, and then also, I didn't have the right light to um, secure them when I did bring them in the inside open the door a little bit maybe that helps hopefully it doesn't wide it out but um i'm gonna have to keep this door cracked it is hot in here um yeah the sun is gone for a little while it's partially cloudy today but anyway you guys philodendron in brazil she looks wonderful now we're going to move over here to my um diy grow tent grow space um let me pause this real quick guys i'm gonna have to crack this door all right, we've made it back. So we're at my um, DIY grow tent. Now I got this here idea. You guys should know by now from um, Rachel Heart Shaped Leaves. We call her our plant madam, the begonia queen. Um, but this is what we have up here. Now a lot of these here are, well, not a lot of them. I see this little piece of mess. Now I don't. Can you see him flying around? You see him. My camera is picking up pretty good. Not if it's going to focus on my finger. There he is, right there, guys. Don't pick up on my finger. Don't pick up on my finger. Right there. Like, my, it's picking up on my freaking finger. Stop it. There it is. But anyway, it's a gnat. That sucks. Um, usually, I only get those. Well, as you can see, she's not covered with anything, but definitely going to. Um, you know what? One second. All right, we'll fix that in just a jiffy. Yeah, we go. That'll help out um, a little bit. I'm trying not to. There's a leafy coming in, guys. I'm going to get you guys. And then what I don't like about nets, with that being said, is that um, they can come in anywhere. Like, literally anywhere. Oh, okay. Don't need that. Come on, work with me. Okay, there we go. So everything up here is literally growing. Down there is growing as well. We're going to start up here. Where are my scissors? I guess we can do some pruning while we're going through it because she needs to go. All right, over here on the left, I know you guys have seen a millions of times. Um, probably can't tell, but she's old. All right, she's pretty old, but hasn't been doing too good, but has been growing um, a lot better as of lately. Um, she's been branching off, so hopefully I can get her to do something and not act a fool once again. But that is my sister's this color, um, Rick's Begonia Vine. Um, I got these, like I said before, a long time ago. Um, the foliage is just nice. I mean, it's gorge, especially when it hits the sun or get enough sun. These backs are way more burgundy or purple than that. So, um... Yeah, I wish I had a fuller pot of those. Now, next we have <clears throat> this. I think this was. <laughs> I think this is the zebra 
if I'm not uh, mistaken, Hawarthia. Um, I've had, I don't say trouble with her, but growing her, it's not even been a pain because she doesn't need anything. I've learned, I can tell you this, you guys, I've learned that she's way more thirstier than um, what most people put off, at least depending on your environment. And my environment is a very thirsty environment, meaning that it's usually hot. Um, it's always humid, but if it's inside the house and if you're running your air units and things of that such, then of course it's pulling the humidity out of the house. But um, she's, and what I mean, she has grown. If you look at these little um, leaves here, these are the ones that were crisping. Um, the ones that she had on her, I think last year, if I'm not mistaken, but she wasn't doing much. But um, I did give her some more soil. I capped her off with um, pond and I just water her literally every time I water my other plants. And as you can see by all this here new growth, guys, she's loving it. So and um, I'm finally starting to get the color back as you can see. But that is a whole worth yeah. I think Sabrina. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments below. Um, right next to her is my, that is not a philodendron, is my regular string of heart, which has grown. Um, I will insert a picture right now. That picture that you're seeing is what these girls came from. Uh, remember, oh, a little bit too much water. She's curling on this one. Let's make sure. Yeah, she's fine, though. Let it dry out a little bit more. Um... That picture that you guys are seeing, um, I did top her because she was getting ugly and like leggy and real small leaves. But um, as you can see now, a little, little, little stress that she's having, a little, uh, turning a little red. I don't know if my camera's going to pick that up because it's like, what happens if I do this? It's a little better. At least it's clear. Um, you definitely can see the different color um, in the foliage as well. I guess I can turn this here light off. But I don't know how it'll show up on like TV or your screen, but yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> my kids turn on and off the light. All right, this one here is my philodendron subastatum. You guys know that she just fungal. All right, that's all I'm going to say is fungal. This has been the most, and I mean the most, I'm going to say draining, but aggravating plant that I have ever owned. She'll get large and just luscious and just, you guys have seen her, and then she just act a damn fool on me. So, um, you did see me propagate, and um, from what I'm seeing, I thought there was a third node that activated. Um, probably not, but let me stop because I just felt the root pop when I pulled the spagnum moss, but um, this is the, is this the original mother? Let's think about this before I, no, this, this is the original mother plant, if I'm not, am I, am I mistaken? Y'all, well, let me tell you something. This lets you know how many times, how many times she has been cut, because I clearly don't know. Um, I don't even see a bud, but um, I know it's still alive. As you can see, it's green. Is that? Oh, no, that's a cal um, a dried calafil right there. Um, as you see, I just scraped it off. But um, if I'm not mistaken, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you, you guys. Um, she is in sphagnum moss. Well, dirty spag. You can see that's the perlite and mulch in, inside of her as well. But she's still growing. This piece here, I know it's still okay. There's plenty of tug on her, tug back rather. On her, um, well, there's a new leafy coming in there, but she's doing good. We're just going to see how she grows. Is that a oh, that is that an eye? That's impossible. That must be an area root. That feels like a freaking um auxiliary bud, could be area root, but there's auxiliary bud there. It's already hatched anyway. Um, but yeah, she's doing good in sphagnum moss and little pond as well. Um, as you can see, those are. Thy roots. Now, eventually, she will be um, like her sister in one of those glass, um, <clears throat> no drainage vases or vases, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but just waiting for her to do more than what she's doing now. I mean, I can put it, go ahead and put it in there and just set it up. Um, which I don't know. It could also be that I don't know if she's root bound. She could be root bound because these are two mature plants in here 
Yeah, I can say plants because it's, it's still a plant. I mean, it's not a cutting. It's a stub. There's a lot of roots in here. All right, how about that? All right, next plant we have is my, not a philodendron, is my, um, kit. Ooh, Hoya curtsia. I was going to say carrier. My Hoya curtsia found, well, not finally, but we do have some new growth um, here within my growth space. Now, she was growing in a south facing window in my um, old apartment, you guys did see. But um, for this here, Hawarthia, oh, what not? <laughs> for this here, um, Curtsy, I, what I ended up doing was um, I ended up finding a big pot of these um, Costa Farm Angel, Angel Wing, oh not Angel Wing, um, Exotic Angel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I ended up finding a pot of those, and what I did was um, I traded that pot. I took some cuttings. Well, she let me take some cuttings. I took some cuttings off, and I traded that for my stump of philodendron gloriosum and i had a philodendron plumania which that one rotted which sucked as well but anyway um let's see what we have here whoa there there's the wind pushing on the door um but yeah ended up getting in her and that was a little while ago you guys a new leaf there that was a little while ago but um she just needs a better setup because i think when i did this i didn't have much sphagnum as you can see but um let's one more time guys is this i don't know i feel like you can't anyway um but yeah we're gonna definitely give her a sprucing up give her some dirty spag for one so she's growing um like the other ones <laughs> these two which i'm thinking about putting on trellis as well so they will stop all over the freaking place anyway um all in all guys she's good Next we have is, I keep wanting to say philodendron. This one is not a philodendron. <sighs> Variegated string of hearts. All right, I got this one here um, from Droids Hoda Culture. Culture, if I'm not mistaken, did he get, were he, were he giving these away? I think he was giving these away because he didn't have the, either the space or the right lighting for them. I can pick her up. I don't know why I'm just so skeptic um how does this look can you guys yeah you barely can see the pink this door stop opening and closing on me i think we'll be fine um but yeah as you can see i'm trying to get it in the best lighting you guys this is stressful first time in here recording i probably should have figured out the lighting first but anyway um as you can see she has grown a lot and i have wrapped her I would try to unwrap her, but then I have to try to <laughs> do it again, wrap her back in there. But um, she's down in here. As you can see, there are some nodes there that are starting to branch out um, or root out, rather. And she's growing, you guys, with no problems. That Those leaves look like um, Ace of, I don't know, String of Hearts. <laughs> Asus, I don't know, look like a little, anyway guys, oh look at these two on the same um, node, but two different leaves, you see that one, and then that one, freaking awesome, but doing good, I got these from him, um, a lot of people have been asking, um, how are they doing, since of course, I grew a lot of my plants in spag, a lot of people were worried and scared, that something would happen as you can see she's trailing on this side so i'm definitely going to make a um trellis for these guys so that they don't do that which i don't care for because you can pull it up and it just you know gets caught on something and it snaps and i just don't have time and then i'm mad all right back here in the back you guys definitely should remember her um that's what i was trying to prevent from covering up I knew that they were going to stay alive. These are one of the ones that I decided to retire, which are my, um, we are not on string of hearts, Ugh. which are my Maranta, the green regular Maranta. Um, I decided to keep these because the root system was huge and I mean huge. And I do know that the plants when I, um, before they decided to act crazy, 
um, their leaves and stuff were huge. And I mean huge. So I decided to keep it. So I went and got it off the front porch and brought it in here. And I will say within maybe two weeks or so, um, she shut out this little girl. I'm so proud of her. Oh, I'm so proud of the baby. But she's doing good. And, you know, I just covered her up with um, that mooch. I seen a freaking um, gnat, and I don't care for it, especially in here. And now that since the door is open, you know, um, I'm inviting more pests in here. Yay, me. Um, But eventually, oh, we'll talk about it once I get through. Um, Next is the other, um, not other, this is the black velvet black velvet maranta what is going on today um this is the black velvet alocasia jewel alocasia which is doing good um there's a pup coming in there move leaf there it is there's a pup coming in there um loving her and also a new leaf as well is that ready to come off no it's not um she's doing pretty good nice little medium sized leaf um, right next to her is my Xanadu. Now, you guys definitely know I've, I had issues with her with, um, well, for one, spider mites, of course. And another one is, what is that stuff called that I don't like? Fungus. Yeah. Fungi issue, um, which killed that one off. She's still alive, though. Let's see. Can we get in here? Yeah, she's still alive, as you can see, but... Yeah, these bigger, this is why I got my uh, scissors out, you guys. I don't like this here. You hear that? That is fine. It's healed off. I'm still going to, and it means I have to vacuum the floor again. Um, Get that up just to make sure that this one is definitely coming off. So I'm going to go in and... Looks like one of the older leaves anyway. So let's go here. I usually just take the leaf off instead of the whole stem. Um, once the plant is through with, I guess, a leaf or anything on itself, um, it starts to drain the energy out. Um, and instead of losing all, you know, the nutrients, and as you can see, um, let's see, can we get in here without breaking anything? As you can see, there's still fluids and things in there. Um, so instead of it being wasted out, we'll allow the plant to suck it all back down in and revert the energy somewhere else. And of course, you know, I'll come in and take it off. All right, next plant, what we have here is the Silver Splash. If I'm not mistaken, you guys seen, um, I got these from a supporter here over on the channel. Now, I'm not sure how the other nodes are doing. Can I feel anything? I cannot feel anything. I don't want to go too far down in there and disturb much. But all in all, I still have two that are doing wonderful. This door is just slapping all over the place. That are still doing good and holding on. Um, still no, is that a, no? Still no new growth shot through? No, no, nothing to shoot through yet. Wait, wait. No, nothing has came through yet, so we're still on the up and up on her. All right, so this one here, I'm just so over this one. This one here is my, that is still one pretty leaf, though. Ha! My variegated burl marks, um, I bought it with this here one cutting. Um, the second cutting, which I thought, you know, was everything was okay, is fixing to die off. But this is the only one that gave me some more green on the variegation. Which is a lot of it that was right here in the corner, but you guys look at this stupid pot. You guys remember the video where everything just fell on top of everything and it broke and it just, it did this one like wrong, like so dirty. Yeah, this one here light is, wait, where's the leaf? There it is. Um, it just did that one so wrong, but, um, I'm like so over this here plant, you guys. When I say I've cut this plant a zillion times and it just steady grows, it's persistent now with this. Um, this is like yellow or golden color, which is gorgeous to be honest with you. But yeah, she's not. And well, and then since then, she's honestly has been growing back. And as you can see, they are yellow though, but there are new growth points on here. 
I'm glad to see that she's growing, but none of these growth points have any variegation. Like, if you look on the stem, yeah, you see that? Is that an eye? Oh, well, I was thinking about cutting it there, but I don't know. It's just aggravating. But, burl marks, variegata. Um, thinking about trying to find another one. I don't know if I want to. Look at that. It has green that comes through. But that's only on the sheath, and then it opens out completely gold. If this thing was stable, then I would love it. But as you can see by all the broken freaking stems, it just it didn't like the little fall hit that it had. All right, next up here we have our monkey cups, which could use some pruning. Come on. Um, we have my monkey cups. Now, I've had this one also for a while as well. Um, it took me every bit of, I think, maybe last year to figure it out, um, to really dig down in the research to figure things out, um, to get pups. So, we're dealing with that. I'll cut you off there. Um, we're dealing with that as well now. She doesn't have any pups on her as of now simply because of she didn't have the humidity, um, that she was in from the, I would say, last situation. Um, she was actually in here, to be honest with you. Uh oh, I just broke, oh, it was dry anyway. Um, she was actually in here, if I'm not mistaken, um, the past couple of months, maybe or so, um, at the old apartment. And she was pushing out, and I mean, huge, 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 um, not pups, but cups. This is one of the older ones. Please don't let nothing drip out on me. Um, I'm fixing the cut off, and I think this is like the last one she put out. Um, as you can see, she's drying out now, so we're um to help prevent any foolishness. We're just going to do that. Um, cut that on off, and just like all the rest of them, I just throw them out the door. But all in all, she's doing good. I definitely need to give her some water. Yeah. Oh yeah, she needs water. Um, I use rain water with these and also my calatheas as well that go Persia's I even want to call it but um up and up she's doing good um she's giving me signs that she wants to put out pups and I'm pretty sure she will I want to this wind is on it today guys um I want to I might end up placing her outside but I honestly honestly don't know you guys I don't know if you hear this plane, but it is over my head and it is on the way. All right, next plant we have. Um, a lot of these guys you would definitely see again. I don't know if this video would come out before that video or after that video. I don't know, but a lot of these you would definitely see again, um, either before or after this video, and would definitely have changed, uh, maybe in like grow containers or replanting pot, or whatever. This here is my very, very sad, 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 sad. You definitely will see this again. Probably see it before this here video comes out. But this is my um, Albo Syngonium. No Albo whatsoever anywhere. Um, come on, focus. Not on my... Oh, see, when you have a... Oh, come on. See how this thing is like... I have to get another camera, you guys. Um... It's trying to focus on everything else, but I need it to focus on. There we go. Um, there's no actual variegation in here. I think that spot there is maybe from mites. Not mites, yeah. Um, mites. Oh, is that variegation? Guys, is that variegation? Look at this dirt on my fingers. Well, I just put some soil in that plant. Anyway, um, I think that's variegation. I don't know, but this is the Albo Syngonium. Not doing too good, as you can see from the um, first leaf that I showed you guys a while back. Down in here, this looks kind of like a, um, um, what's the name of that syngonium? Oh, crap, I forgot. The velvet syngonium. Anyway, this here is my confetti, confetti syngonium. I'm just getting tongue twisted. Um, she's doing, like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better. I've had her for a while. You guys, um, we grew her, I think, from a rescue, if I'm not mistaken. But she's definitely growing now. Um, shooting off new growth on both sides. Um, this one is just fixing to unfurl. Gorge as well. So, Zygonium confetti. All right, let's move down. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do like two parts of this, you guys. 
Oh my goodness. All right. So down in here, you definitely should have seen already my elbow, elbow slingonium, my Monstera borsigiana elbow, which is doing absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm just loving this variegation on this leaf. That is like freaking awesome. Um, she's still doing good. Of course, haven't put out a new leaf yet. I still can't believe like this. Yes, this leaf came out first. And I'm like, okay, well, at least I have some with a little variegation on it. And then she shot out this one here, which just shocked, blew my mind. And of course, with fenestrations on it as well. Now this, oh, yeah, this was the very first leaf or big leaf she put out besides the little, I keep forgetting that little first leaf that comes out. I'm um, still variegation on it. Um, then she did that one. And then she did this one here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you guys, you can get your plant to turn itself on the vine. That's a good example. Um, vine, rather. Let's see. Can we zoom in there? Um, get it to turn itself on the vine. As you can see, um, is that turned? Yeah, this one is turned. And what I mean by turned, you guys, oh, I hope I'm not breaking any foliage. This leaf here is facing on the back side, which was not supposed to happen. But um, with me not tying it down, you know, it does what it wants to do when it's not um, connected to the pole or post or whatever you're going to do so i'm thinking i'm pretty sure the same way with oh god ha, the same way with your like pink princess and any other philodendron that has variegation on it i'm pretty sure if you switch the light around or whatever the dominant side of it is it will switch around the variegation because this one here was turned a million times before it um decided to push off this leaf so I don't know don't quote me on it it sounds good look at that little baby it sounds good but we'll figure it out I knew this leaf here once that came out I was gonna have tons of variegation so let's put this leaf back there we go but she's doing good and you know I did a video she's on this here um, thick post my DIY um, these are my moss planks by the way if you don't know they work wonderfully. All of my plants that you will see are on my DIY moss planks. Some of them don't have planks at all, but that's fine. I mean, it has moss on the planks, but that's fine as well. All right, next plant we have is my Philodendron Florida green or red stem, however you want to call it. Um, if you look on little bumpies there, these things are gorge. These little bumps, of course, as you can see, and the stem petal itself is red, which I do love. Um, these are some wonderful, wonderful leaves. They are about palm size, a little bit smaller. You know, I do have some big hands, so um, I have leaves way bigger than this. But um, also, a lot of these plants um, that you see, if looks, whoa, if it looks like that, I heard some pop. If it looks like that at the top, um, this is way before Mr. Dual Flame came in and it was cold out here. And you guys know that I went through the fungal, and so I was using my Vicks um, moisture, moisture heater. <laughs> using my, <laughs> I was going to say Vicks vaporizer. Using my um, Vicks humidifier, I, um, you know, was blasting, as I said, it was keeping it warm in here, but that warmth also came with a lot of moisture, which didn't have any ventilation, which I didn't have at the time anyway. So I was just trying to. Figure things out, you know. You live and you learn. So, but in a way, um, it, it, the cold, it, it headed itself, as you can see, but, um, she is pushing out some new growth. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, she's fixing to open up there. So, yeah. And this one is an, um, is that auxiliary bud active? And you guys see that? There we go. Hopefully that bud. It's active and it shoots out something. I don't know, but again, she's doing good. Um, growing down in pure sphagnum moss. Is that dirty spag? I doubt that's dirty. Oh, it's a little, it's a little dirty. I see some perlite and things. So 
little dirty, dirty spat going on. This here little spot came from a grow light um, from the old setup. Um, it burned it, but it's okay. Next one we have um, is my philodendron. This is not a biliate. My phil. Mm. Atabap, there we go. <laughs> I'm Philodendron Atabap, um, which is doing so well. She's okay. I'm not even gonna lie. She is okay. Um, same thing happened there. Let's see. Can we show you guys? As you can see, the exact same thing happened down there. So I'm not sure. There we go. I'm not sure where is that the grow point? I haven't been. Is that an area root? I don't know the difference between... Oh, there it is, you guys. Um, let's see. Can we get down in here? Right there. Can you see that? A little bit more. There it is. She's starting to poke out now. I see a little white on the on it. So, um, all in all, she's still growing. Um, a lot of these, are, of course, I still have some of the first leaves. Now, I don't know if I have the leaf that I probably, I definitely do. Here it is. That's how it started. First propagated leaf. And I was amazed by this huge thing that came out. I'm not sure if it was when I doubled the fertilizer or when I switched the fertilizer, but that leaf came out huge. I'm thinking it was the light. I don't know. This was a little bit smaller. I don't know. It could have been damaged from the cold, but we definitely have the cold thing. Um, situated now and it feels good when you come out here late at night and it's it's like three degrees outside but anyway next plant we have um, right next to her we did a video as well which is my Monstera um, Melanocrysum yeah, oh crap Melanocrysum um, yeah this is the only leaf that made it we do have some spider mite damage there of course I figured that was going to happen um, Simply because she was not injured, but stressed out. I did do cuttings and things of such. You guys definitely should remember her, though. She was about, what, six, six and a half feet, maybe seven feet tall. Um, leaves were about maybe this size, a little bit bigger. I couldn't figure out why um, she wasn't getting any bigger. I don't know, but I did end up giving her a bigger pot. Um, I have the mother plant down in here. I'm not sure if... Oh, it's still alive. It came through the back. There's an active... Oh, crap. There's an active... Um, zoom in. To, there we go. This one here from the mother. Um, there's another growth point down there. But this here, as you can see by the size of the stem, is not too, too big of a difference. But there's a big difference there. Um, this one I'm not sure to be honest with you. She is though putting out more growth there behind this little sheath. There we go. So she's hanging in there um, for the most part. Um, right next to her we have my philodendron painted lady. You guys know I love this here plant. Um, we did do some chopping and propping on her and ever since then um, I'm going to end up... Oh, shit! I knew I broke it. I heard it and I broke it, guys. We're going to get on that. Is, that is, can I save it? I mean, I can save it. We're going to figure it out. Um, this one here has been growing and growing honestly just fine since we did. Oh, never mind. It just came right on off. That sucks. I'll show it to you in a few. Um, did I just wipe that pink stuff? Oh, my God. Um, she did shoot out this here leaf, which is already coming out when we did cut her, so she's looking a bit rough. But all in all, as you can see, a lot of the new growth is coming in. So now we're just playing the weight game and um, allowing her to catch up. Look at that variegation on that leaf. Spectacular. Crap. All right. In front of her, we have our another um, accident, rather. Um, which is my Philodendron Squamiferum. Now she is doing pretty good, you guys. I'm upset that she did. Um, <sighs> I'm so upset. I'm just upset. But she's growing. Um, she was part of that casualty that came through and just ruined everything. But um, if I can zoom in, 
Um, that there is the new growth point that came in after, of course, it, it headed itself. Well, not itself, but something took it off. And the rest of the leaves. But check out these hairy petioles. Those things are freaking awesome. And on this one as well. All right, next plant we have right in front of it is another jewel orchid, which is my other, a little bit more mature rather, um, black velvet. Um, she's doing okay, I would say for the most part. Um, there is, yep, there's a new baby coming in. Baby leaf, I'm trying to come through there, but all in all, guys, she, oh, it's doing good. Let's see, can I turn her? Um, she did get hit as well. There are some that yeah, here it is. She got hit as well. So um, Yeah, I didn't like that much and it's just it just whatever, but all in all guys. She's doing good Nice nice foliage right next to her is my philodendron pink princess. You definitely seen her on the um, one of the videos that I did do this is the uh, mother plant from the big one and these are my two small ones that I just combined it together so there are three plants in here now everything is doing good check out that leaf that's freaking awesome um, there's another new leaf coming in here as well which I don't know is probably not variegated because it was not under any kind of light yeah I don't see much variegation on that leaf um, let's check out this one here. Doing no variegation. Nope, no variegation on her either, but she's doing um, pretty good, you guys. I did just snap off a leaf. I'm going to show you guys. It snapped off a leaf here, which of course has some sun stress on it there. Anyway, yeah, it just literally snapped off right now. When I said I heard a snap, that's what that was. And I looked down, turned around, and yeah, she decided to snap off. So, that's a goner. Um, I think that is everything in here, in this here um, DIY. Now, I put these in here for, most of these up here is for the higher, brighter light. Um, this one eventually will come out, synapses will come out once it starts to shoot out growth. Um, pink prince. Oh God. Um, the Maranta green will come out. Um, once she starts to shoot out growth as well as she's pushing out growth, but you know what I mean? Um, and I think that is it. Everything else will literally stay in here, of course, for the warmth and then, um, space as well. So they're in here, um, like, you know, to speed up the growth. Um, these are in here, of course, because of the heading. Um, but, yeah, everything is in here is fine, and of course, yeah. All right, so this is the grow tent, you guys. So what I'm going to do, um, since we're almost at an hour, um, should I cover the table or should I cover the corner? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Let's go ahead and do um, the plants that I have over here on this here side and we'll definitely have to make another part because this is whoa you better not break this is like entirely like too like too long already all right so this first one that we have here is my melanic oh my goodness my philodendron mikings which is just i love her um i'm going to insert a picture of my little terrarium little setup thingy that i made like years ago um, those, as you can see, those are the, um, the original parents, especially from this one, um, and, and some of these, definitely not all of these because, you know, I got these, um, from a supporter on here on the channel as well. But anyway, um, all of my mikings out of this one came from my terrarium setup and I got these mikings, maybe two or three cuttings, one note leaf cuttings. And let me tell you, you guys. Um, aside from uh, also grown in pure spag, a little dirty, dirty. Um, she definitely, and I mean definitely, definitely, definitely with a capital, definitely needs a repot. Um, especially down at the bottom. 
Um, she goes up. These are like nice size leaves here. Um, she goes up. This was the point when I brought her into their new growth space. And as you can see, there are some um, mold spots, fungal, fungal spots rather, but we took care of that. It's another nice size leaf. And of course, she outgrew her. Um, did this tape come off again? Yeah, it did. Um, she, of course, she outgrew her, her um, post, per usual. Are those area roots? No, those not. No, please don't stick tape. It's stuck. I'll do that later. She I grew a pot, and this here let me knew how how moisturized. <laughs> um, they let me knew how humid it was in here because they were shooting out area roots with. Come on, look, leaf. I don't want to break you. Work with me. There it is. With not my hand. There it is. Um, with the white tips on it, so it lets me know that they were growing. And it's fairly humid in here, so um, yeah, no humidifier at this point. Now, as you can see, I turned this off for one, it's hot, and um, I kept it on because I had the door open, and I knew all the um, the heat and moisture, humidity, and stuff would have escaped. So anyway, next plant we have over here is that new grow. <gasps> I've been waiting for this thing to start by growing a very long time. That is new growth. Yay, plant. Um, Brandianum philodendron. Look at this. She is gorgeous. And I mean gorgeous, but um, she headed herself, of course, due to the cold. But she is finally starting to grow back. I thought about propping this thing, but I was like, nope, not going to prop it. Um, I've been trying to keep up with the nutrients and things so that, um, I can keep my bottom leaves and also light as well. As you can see this here, light is down here in this corner, but doing pretty good, you guys, for the most part. Check her out. I'm just loving this here plant. Some ties and things, but yes, every point in here as I can, and I'm looking at it now, um, is growing as you can see now of course this here plant was inside of her well inside of this here um, DIY grow tent even my micings was at one point as well but as you can see the post um, have outgrown the rack and it's all the way on literally the both pots on the floor so um, yeah what I'm probably going to do after this video is repot her yeah, which is a lot easier because the roots are like, you know, in this bag and I just pull it up and pull it down and put them in one of these pots here, which I think I might have another. I definitely have to check. But anyway, guys, right next to her um, is the Sophia Begonia, which has been a semi struggle. And I say that because of light. And of course, I wasn't feeding my plants um, how I'm feeding them now. I was doing minimum on the fertilizer, so yeah. All, all in all, though, guys, she is growing. This leaf is out the door. Usually wait, like I said, until they suck everything out of it and get rid of it, but um, a lot of the times I can't simply because of pest, you know. So all in all, in all oh, let's see, can we get down in here? All in all, she's doing good. It's like the biggest leaf she's gave me since I've had her, to be honest with you. Um, but you guys know I was topping her and kept topping and kept... Oh, there's another goner. Pretty sure she needs even brighter light. Um, but yeah, I've been topping her so that she can... Well, pinching basically. Pinching helps spread plants, you guys. So if you pinch off any new growth then usually your plant will um spread towards the bottom or on the stem but in a way she did end up spreading and gave me another shoot rather let's see can we get this without messing anything up yeah she gave me that extra shoot um and then she shot out another one down here as well so sophia is doing pretty good and those backs oh my god the backs on these are just whoo spectacular all right, so right down in front of her, we have the begonia 
Um, uh, hmm. Starts with the M, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I put the name up so you well, put the name up so you guys can see it. This one here has been giving me a little trouble as well. Um, I'm thinking about um, let's check her mix down here. It's a little dry, but um, I was thinking about redoing the soil. As you can see, this leaf is going out as well. I'm um, redoing the soil in here, but. For the all, for the most part, yeah, this is what we're looking like. Show you guys. There we go. This is what we're looking like with her. Fanny Moser, ha! Huh? Begonia Fanny Moser, got it. Um, right next to her is my um, Begonia Maculata Wadia. Now this one here, I decided to keep. You guys should know as well. She's finally fine. <laughs> finally growing and holding leaves for me this thing here was a struggle struggle and i mean struggle for at least about a year or so um as well so um we'll figure that out look at all this freaking sphagnum moss on the floor this oh i put more sphagnum moss in that pot which is why that is down there i was like what <sighs> all right so while i get this here Sphagnum moss. Uh, oh, that's what I was doing. I was trying to, um, well, I did actually put more sphagnum moss in here so um, some of these area roots can connect off the vine. But back to the maculata. She is doing um, way better than what she was doing before, you guys. When I got cuttings or when I did cut her, it wasn't even a good three to four inches. It was just horrible. And when I got her, there weren't any, any around. And I mean, they were buying, this was the time when these were the it plant and the only one that I found like within a whole week was one that was a rescue and I mean it was horrible but I brought it home I had to cut it prune it um, the root system didn't make it after I cut it so I chunked that and I grew those out and these little girls have been chucking all along ever since um, in front of her I have another maculata, which, what is this spot on this leaf that I don't like? Will it, nope, she has to go. Sorry, leaf. Yeah, I don't know what that spot is. Looks a little fungal to me, but it is crispy. Don't care, got to go. All right, so in front of her, this is another maculata, wadi and let's back that up some. Um, doing good, of course. I'm um, sending out new growth. There's another new growth point here. These things get lodged up in a little sheath, which is by Mother Nature. Usually rains and wet things up, and then you have insects that eat these things off, and a lot of fun stuff. But anyway, guys, is this thing stuck down in here too? It looks like it. Did I just break a leaf? I don't know. I'm doing the most, and then I do this, and then watch. I'm gonna break something, and then be mad that I. And, oh, okay, leave it alone. All right, another one here as well. Doing the same thing, did I break it? No, I just pulled the sheath off. So apparently these sheaths, there it is. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do definitely when I, sorry about that, when I get out of here is crank my humidifier a little bit and then come back out here and cut it off. Yeah, I'm breaking leaves at this point. Leave that alone. But yeah, she's <laughs> she's doing fine and, and healthy somewhat. What is that? Yeah. Okay, you're fine. You're dry. But um, one nice plant, you guys. If you don't have one of these, get your hands on them. They grow spectacular, especially if you have a healthy specimen. So yeah. All right. Right next to that, we have our watermelon Rex begonia. Hmm. Now you guys definitely should remember I was proud of her. She was growing and was huge, putting out huge leaves. But that move, boy, I tell you what, she wasted no time to show her ass on me. And it's like, I don't know, like this is what's left healthy, as you can see, very, very healthy. Um, dogs barking again. Um, she's very healthy, all in all. Um, sending out new growth. Let's see, can we get in here and see it? Yes, look at that. Spectacular. 
Okay, and then we have our tiger's paw, if I'm not mistaken. At least I think it's a tiger's paw. Um, I'm going to check and make sure, but if not, I'll put the name at the top. Um, she was a fuller plant once upon a time, but yeah, as you can see, she didn't do too well. And what I'm going to do um, with her whoa, as well is check water, 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 water. She can use a little water. Um, I'm going to add some more soil around these rhizomes to um, encourage some more. Look at the little baby leaves on these things, you guys. Look at the little baby. And they're fuzzy. And what I'm going to do is just add some more soil around to help these rhizomes connect a little with roots, which should do it. And that is it here for this here corner, you guys. We are going on an hour. And um, even if I edit, I'm pretty sure um, it'll still be long so that is everything on this here well not side that is everything that is in this here grow rack so another pan for you guys as well take a picture of that nice little setup and um also everything that is down here as well she's just growing and loving life um, down <clears throat> down here as well um, the next episode you guys will see we will work on this corner here um, was down below was under the table and what is on top of the table as well so and then of course I'm pretty sure there's going to be an extra part to cover a lot of these other plants as well you guys but it's standing on a, it's like doing the damn thing but um that is it here you guys for today's video i love my orby we'll get to that um i love my burly too it's like one of the only plants that i do have when new leaves come out they're like shiny it's like cool but anyway um that is it here you guys for today's video please me a favor and hit the like button if you enjoyed also comment down below let me know are there any of these plants that you have seen today that you don't have in your collection um well there's something simple as a confetti or well i say simple but a lot of people don't have these in their area and a lot of people just don't like paying double the money you know which i can understand so let me know if you um you don't have any of these in your collection since you're still looking for them um, also, um, it's good to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. I'm still working on this here lighting. Um, look at that. Just hoach. Oh, God. Wiring. Um, um, also, like I said, it's good to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. There will be a third, um, second part. I'm pretty sure a third part as well um, in this here video. So, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, upload this to the little server and come out and finish the rest. But, um that is it guys i will see you on the next one let's make sure that it's everything yeah i've covered everything from what's on the floor until what's in the on my grow rack but yeah guys <laughs> see you on the next one bye oh man this is wonderful this is just heaven my workbench this is like guys oh man i can't wait till i'm i get the walls and things covered i might use like um, some paintings or some more plants, who knows though, but yes.